You want to rate this thing? Yes. Let's do it. Right, Cooperstown. Label branding. I hate baseball, so C. No, I'm just kidding. This is an A plus bottle. I mean, they won best gift. Higher they- than an A plus. Look at it. Come on. Did you notice when you look through it? Nothing happens. Something does happen. <laughs> Would you stop? <laughs> you get Cooperstown on the bottom. Oh, that's cool. Because it shoots from the it shoots up from the glass on the bottom and then into the bottom of the spirit. There's a fruit fly, bro. What are you eating bananas in here? Kind of. Um all right, so A plus plus. A plus plus check mark for show. Look at it. Hand signed. It's not hand signed. I know, Derek. <laughs> A plus plus check mark. All right. What does the uh, little tag say on the back? It tells you what it is. It's got a little scanner on it. 750 ml. Hold on, it has a scanner on it? Not like a UR code. QR code? A QR code. Nailed it. <laughs> it. And then it says double day bourbon. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. So it's a, it's a UPC. Yeah, it's a UPC code. Retail. <laughs> Terminology. <laughs> lingo. Isn't that what it's called? Checking UPC? the brakes on the rooter dirter. Uh <laughs> I quote a Tommy boy, and if you haven't seen that movie, I don't know what's going on with your life. (laughs) All right. Are we done yet? Uh, Okay, so A++ checkmark? A++ checkmark, no doubt. Nose. It's a very traditional Kentucky bourbon to me. It's caramel, vanilla, a little maple. I agree, I agree, I agree. I'm getting a little brown sugar, though. Yeah. Oh. This makes me smile inside, you know? I agree, I agree, I agree. Oh, I agree, I A agree, plus? I agree. A, a plus. A? No, A plus. I agree. It's a nice nose. It's kind of a weird comment. Yeah, you're Moving a, on. You're a nice nose. Initial taste. God, I'm going to go home and tell my wife that. Hey, nice nose. She's like, what? Caramel. On the initial taste, a little bit of like a corn. Corn, no doubt. Yeah. It's a very, very, very high hug. It doesn't even get to your tonsils, for crying out loud. It just sits <laughs> in the middle of your tongue, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it dissipates semi-quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go B on the initial taste. Yeah. I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. What do you get for tasting notes, though? Same, I mean, it's just caramel and corn. Yeah. For the initial taste, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ending note, what are you getting for that? I'm the same B. Kind of um, getting like a little pepper or some sort of like it, I harsh. Wouldn't, I wouldn't even say a baking spice, though. Yeah. Um, along the lines of a pepper. Yeah. The flavoring notes don't stay long. No, it dissipates really quick. It, it feels oily. Like, I can feel it in my mouth. I don't know what the hell's going on with these flies. Another reason why we need to redo the studio. But you can feel like the whiskey stays a little wild, but the flavoring notes are gone. To me, this isn't begging for another sip. I'll put it that way. No, it's a sipper. And then you let it sit. This is something you have during a party where you're socially drinking. Take a sip, talk for 10 minutes. Take a sip, talk for five, ten minutes. You know, like you're not, you're not trying to crush this in regards to, you want to, you want to have a drink in your hand, but you're focused on the conversation, not the drink. Mm -hmm. Whereas there's other spirits where you're focused on the drink and the conversation revolves around the drink. This is just something that you would have. Mm. And then you, you would discuss the bottle for like an extended period of time. And then you would talk about baseball for the remaining period of time. Yes. And, y- you know, you would touch on the spirit. But then, you know what this is very similar to? A 69th fighting. Ar- fighting mm-hmm. uh, the fighting 69th. I'm mentally shot, dude. So thank you. But yes, the fighting 69th Irish whiskey because you're. In the story and not the taste at all. And you're sharing army stories. Right. And yeah, you're having an 80 proof whiskey. You know, the benefit is that. In regards to our standpoint, this is 90 proof. 
So you do enjoy that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a conversation starter, but you're not diving into like the tasting profile of this whiskey. In my opinion. Yeah. On the back end, you get a little sugar, I guess. Like it, it is a little bit sweet as it's going down. Maybe a little honey. This is a, it's a very traditionally taste whiskey, in my opinion. Outside of the nose, to me, honestly, the nose is the best part of this this whiskey. Do you agree? Yeah, no doubt. That's not a correct answer. As in, I agree with you. Well, you got to say you agree three times, or else it's not valid. <laughs> no, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. All right, so and final rating. We said B for ending note or B plus. B. Okay. Final, final rating. rating. You know, I just want to sit down with somebody and talk baseball. You know. Well, I am not your guy, so I, I know that. I'd literally like. rather watch this paint dry than watch baseball. This Why? paint is already dry. We'll it's talk so. about it in a second. Okay. Give me that countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs>